What up, y'all? This is your boy, Shirley Smith. She's back at it again, courtesy of Complex. Shout out to James R. Sanders for this. Uh, our boy Bernie Sanders is back in the mix. He introduced, he's trying to introduce a proposal to raise minimum wage yet again and warns of political consequences if not doing so. Uh, now, I keep in mind, guys, Senator Sanders is re reintroducing an amended version of his 2021 proposal in the hopes of getting it passed to raise minimum wage across the country. I don't see a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Who, who doesn't need that little extra paper? So that being said, an amended version of Senator Bernie, Bernie Sanders' uh, minimum wage bill that didn't pass is being pushed once more, hoping to make it this time. If it does, the country will raise working eight wages to seventeen dollars an hour. I think that'd be pretty damn dope. Now, in twenty, in now two thousand twenty-one, eight Senate Democrats voted along with every House Republican to shoot down Senator Sanders' proposal, originally called the Raise the Wage Act, which sought to increase minimum wage to fifteen dollars. This time, the Vermont senator warns of political consequences of those who did not support the proposal. He said, and I quote, Nobody in this country can survive on $7.25. And maybe some of my colleagues in Congress might have to live for a month on seven and a uh, quarter and see what that is like. Sanders said during a press conference where he spoke about the proposal. He went on to say, um, He chairs the Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pension. Now, per ABC News, um, <laughs> which take with a grain of salt, guys, he's working on securing votes in the Senate and House. Now, Senator Joe Manchin, if that's his last name, if it's been pronounced incorrectly, I apologize, was the one Democrat who voted against Sanders for vote in 2021, instead pushing for an $11 an hour bump in minimum wage over a few years. That, too, got turned down. Today, 2008, was the last time minimum wage has been changed on the countrywide level. So Manchin is expected to have an uphill battle for the Hill, with Sanders being popular among progressive Democrats, his support stands to the benefit of the controversial Sanders. No support could have done, could have to do, sorry, could have to do with what Senator Sanders alluded to during his press conference on Thursday, saying, and as you said, as you heard to hear today, this is a popular issue. I would hope every member of Congress understands that there will be a political consequences. There will be political consequences, he added. On an appearance on the view, Senator Sanders cited inflation along with the pandemic as key motivating factors for pursuing the proposal since more. During Thursday's press conference, he stood with an economist and several essential workers who would be directly impacted by the minimum wage increase. Having wages for low wage workers naturally grown in the tight labor markets of the pandemic recovery. Now, that's what was asked by Heidi Scherholz, the former chief economist for the Department of Labor. In 21, there were several reasons why the way raised the wage I did pass during the minority. Leader Mitch McConnell accused Democrats of, quote, pushing economic policies that would, quote again, drag down our recovery, like the House was for a one size fits all minimum wage policy that would kill 1.4 million jobs, unquote. Democrats, on the other hand, Senator Mark Wainer feared some corporations could offshore jobs if any wage were too high. So Senator, so Senator Manchin argued that a lot of states have already adopted higher minimum wages in the crucial wing state of Pennsylvania, which was narrowly won by President Biden and has typically been a Republican right wing state. Senator Bob Casey says he's currently reviewing the proposal. Uh, pen, you know, for most part, Pennsylvania's minimum wage is currently seven thousand a quarter an hour, and Senator Casey was running for a re-election, also says on the committee of health, labor, education, and pension. Let's go know the contest below, man. What do y'all guys do? What do y'all think? Do y'all think that would be a good idea for them to raise, to once again have the Raise Your Wage uh, Act back in the mix, back in the full swing, back on the field, and have that finally go through for a touchdown? Let's go know in the contest below, man. Deuces.